Mania had a higher approval rating than that. All right, let's go to your phone calls. We're going to go to break and come back and take more of them here. I, I am going to try to go to your calls now. It's just, I'm throwing out these topics. You can bring up whatever you want. I love spin the wheel, the grab bag of stuff listeners bring up, angles, stories I meant to cover. That's why I enjoy your calls. Uh, let's go to uh, Tyla in New Mexico. You're on the air. Welcome. Hold on. Hello? Yes. Hi, this is, um, I was um, calling because I I'm a member of um, Hikria Nation, and um, I believe that there's some type of synthetic thing that was made having to do with um, biological warfare. Well, ma'am, I don't know what nuclear nation is, and, 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 and then you're saying you believe there's synthetic warfare. We don't screen calls, so you're hot on the air with whatever you want to say, but I don't understand. It's from I'm from Dosi. I um, believe that uh, the oh 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 you you live in an area affected by test radiation. Yes, and I have gone on the mountain and actually suffered radiation sickness. Oh, I believe you. I yeah, uh, yeah. Most of the crew that shot John Wayne films in New Mexico and Nevada uh, came down with uh, cancer very soon after. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I am. Um, I am um, experienced that. I talked with Gabe Valdez. Uh, the one of the state police officers that worked with uh, those issues on the tribe. And um, I know that our tribe is well off due to natural resources, but for some reason they keep saying that our, our tribe is going poor and stuff. But I worked with Wells Fargo, and I'm well aware that we have a zero to count. And I know that because of that, our tribe, I think, could be targeted because of our natural resources and stuff. Of they, course, of course. They pilfer everybody. And the uh, tribal nation leadership around this country is unspeakably corrupt. Uh, it's, 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 it's very, very sad because from day one, the leadership's been corrupt because they would kill any tribal leadership that didn't sell you out. Uh, and uh, it is just a nightmare situation. All right, thank you so much. We're going to jam in a whole bunch of calls from Mike and Jacob and Sharon and Chuck. Only two weeks left to take advantage of the... Okay, we are back live. You know, I don't screen phone calls. And so sometimes we get absolutely amazing ones. And I'm not mad at the last few callers. But if I can't understand really what you're getting at, if I can't understand you, we're going to let you go. We'll just do the screening live on air. Because we don't screen your phone calls uh, unless it's on a specific uh, question. But it'd be better if you just told us what your view is and what your idea is. That's why a lot of times I say, I want to hear from accountants. Or I want to hear from military and police. Or I want to hear from dog catchers. I want to hear from farmers. Because when I specifically do that, we get incredible callers. If I say, I want to hear from Australians, if, you know, we get the calls. I want to hear from people near the side of this shooting. We get the calls. They're coherent. They're intelligent. They're insightful. And I'm not knocking the last two callers. I just had trouble making it out. So uh, if you got a point, if you got a question, you got a comment, Hit me with it and let's go. I'm going to Mike in Illinois. Mike, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Hey, buddy. You know, uh, I'd like you to check out this mini series called America with the K. Have you seen it? Yes, Chris Christopherson made in the 1980s. Yeah, because I was looking on the side of one of the vehicles in there, UNSSU, UN Special Service Unit. And, you know, based around Chicago, and, and I'm just kind of amazed as to. You know, in my opinion, that's what they're bringing us to. And you can't really find it online anymore. No, that's what they do. They bring you into a global government, and then they homogenize the national sovereignty. They homogenize the local uh, departments, the, the, the state departments, and then you're under a global corporate government. And then meanwhile, we're all, I better give my rights up. The Muslims are going to get me, and the globalists are running the, the radical Muslims. Uh, so, yes, I do remember that miniseries, and I do remember... They have basically the UN coup slash communist coup over the U.S. The problem is with all these movies like Red Dawn, we're looking for a foreign invasion. The invasion already happened. The bankers, have you heard the clips where they brag on TV that they have captured us under a corporate world government? I have. In fact, they, uh, they wouldn't let Belzer on uh, CNN. Do we have Belzer tomorrow? 
Friday. We had to cut Melzer's interview short to finish the Dave Mustaine thing, and it was pretty amazing to have uh, Christopher Walken pop in as well. But yeah, I saw them cut Belzer short because he was exposing uh, government assassinations of famous people uh, and uh, wouldn't shut up and was defeating uh, the uh, globalists with no ratings that he was debating. What's your take on that? You know, that is the way we're going, and that's why I'm afraid for YouTube and for the, um, I'm sorry, the viewers of YouTube and and so on and so forth, because they're cutting us off from our avenues of finding out the truth. Yeah, and for those that just joined us, uh, YouTube now is censoring and deleting channels for no reason. Uh, they are allowing people to say, my voice is copyrighted by them. Uh, just my voice randomly, and then taking our videos down. And if I challenge it, they then give me a strike. Uh, so it's censorship, but they act like they're free and open, and it's a communal commons. So it's fake advertising. It's false advertising. And uh, there's open calls for the cybersecurity, has been called by CNET News. That's a pretty establishment that's published by CBS. Uh, the Declan McCullough and others have said it's basically what Putin's trying to do in Russia. And yeah, because we're getting ready for a global meltdown. What do, you, what do you think about the system throwing Obama under the bus? Or did he throw himself under the bus? They pushed their agenda with Obama. It blew up in their face. So now they're going to a backup plan. I believe that. That's their agenda to keep us off kilter. Um and I want to say one final thing before you let me go. Uh, I, I watched Behold a Pale Horse. I ordered it, and it brought a tear to my eye with Charlie Daniels. Um, and I just uh, compel everyone to watch that, along with Dreams from My Real Father, because that has actually turned my mother-in-law on to the truth, where she was ignoring me about things I've been saying to her. No, it's so shocking. Well... That film about Obama is amazing, but the Behold a Pale Horse that we carry at InfoWarsShop.com, it is shot with cinematic quality. I mean, that guy used to shoot national commercials. We're on the march. The All right, we are back. I am Alex Jones, your host. I am here Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. That's uh, noon to 3 Eastern. And we are blasting out across the United States on XM Channel 166, over 115 AM and FM affiliates, Global Shortwave, WWCR, and the audio streams and free podcast at Infowars.com, as well as PrisonPlanet.com. And we are watching a classic authoritarian system with completely illegal, open surveillance of everything we're doing being established. We are seeing the globalists systematically attack the family, the nation state. Uh, the individual, we are being conquered scientifically. And I don't feel up to the challenge. I, I, I know a lot of you don't feel up to the challenge. You don't think of yourself as a warrior against this. It's so big. You don't know where to start. Many of your friends and family, it seems, are in a daze uh, or are in a wonderland. That's from television. That trains the mind to be passive. Uh, and it's uh, it's frightening. Uh, this weekend, I was over at my uh, parents' house, and one of their friends uh, friends was over there, and the guy was asking me, "So I've heard your show for years. Is it for real? Is it all an act?" And I just didn't even feel like validating it or even responding. And and, and people ask me that all the time. I was like, "What?" I mean, the government's bought 1.4 billion rounds of hollow point bullets for us in the last year. I mean, there are army manuals publicly that we've linked to, that the army has on their website for re-education camps. That alone should have everybody out in the streets saying this government's criminal. Open up all the national security archives. Shut down the shadow government. Army manuals, current ones for mass training for cordoning cities and incrementally confiscating the guns. How to shut the power off, the water off until you acquiesce.
And this is the type of stuff. In fact, they just found the Army Manual. Pull it back up. I'll read people the code. If you scroll down a little bit, it's got the code right there in the first paragraph of the article. FM3-3940. You can click on that, the recently unearthed uh, link right there. The recently unearthed link. And you can read it. I mean, this is the type of stuff that we're dealing with here. And I was at Barton Springs the other day. I ran into a ton of listeners. People couldn't even recognize me with a mask on. A, a snorkel mask. I swim laps with a snorkel mask on. And if I talk to my children, people just flock over. They hear my voice. And most of them are, oh, thank you. Oh, yes, we saw the documents. Oh, we're waking up. But others will just walk over and go, oh, yeah, do you really believe all this stuff? And I'm like, believe it. You see, they think that if you believe it, it makes it real. Like if I say, oh, no, they're not trained the military to go house to house and take our guns. I choose not to believe it. And this fellow was saying to me, yeah, I used to listen a lot. And he really had me sucked in. And I said, yeah, that's because I'm sucked in. You know, I hope the preparations for total martial law that are taking place are just a backup plan for the criminal globalist. I hope they don't drop the hammer. Because I'll tell you what the entire architecture of this thing looks like, and I'm going to your phone calls. It looks like what the Soviets did to Christians from 1917 to about 19... 35. Why did they wipe out whole areas of the families, the farmers? Because they were self-sufficient and they had a culture. And the, and the establishment wanted to just get rid of it and depopulate. And everything the globalists do is to destroy this country and to shut it down. And our military is not our military anymore. It's being forged into a weapon to be used against us. And, you know, that's where people like Hank Williams Jr. go wrong. He's like, Obama's a Muslim. He hates America. He wants to destroy uh, our um, military and all this. Obama works for the same foreign banks that have captured our executive, our judicial to a great extent, the legislative, and the bureaucracy. And they'll rearrange puppets all day long. But still, the same... People are in control, and they're very bad people. They're into the fact that they have disdain for the public. They think you're weak if you have a soft heart. They have more compassion for animals than they have for humans. And we're in a lot of danger. So here's a little news flash if you're an old-time listener or a new listener. I 100% believe what I'm saying here. The only thing I'm guilty of is holding back. I felt guilty inside whenever Dave Mustaine came here and did a taped interview three weeks ago, back when the story would have been 10 times bigger. After It was like a week after the Batman shooting. And he'd heard me talking about all the evidence, he'd seen it. And he said in the interview, if they do Fast and Furious, they do anything. And they should be investigated for this. And he was leaving in a few days. I edited you know, the, the thing together. It was an audio interview. And I just cut that out. He didn't ask me to. So there's your answer. It's worse than I say, okay? I hold back. You want to know the truth? The only thing I'm guilty of is holding back. It's certainly not embellishing. And I just think about how dangerous all these naive, childlike trendies are. They're all so good at acting cool. They're all so good at navigating the pop culture, but they don't know how to skin a buck. They don't know how to run a trot line. They don't know anything.